There we go. Perfect. Uh, welcome, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope that you are enjoying the, the sun today. Uh, bonjour et bienvenue à tous. Welcome. Good afternoon again. And welcome to today's Lunch and Learn webinar by DNA, experts in business solution. Today's webinar is all about a modern and state-of-the-art ERP solution rapidly gaining market share. I'm talking, of course, about Akomachka. Please note that, that uh, all microphones have been muted, so, so the session can be recorded for future listening. But you can, of course, submit questions at any time using the chat room. And we will try and answer all of them in the Q&A at the end. Si vous préférez soumettre une question en français, n'hésitez pas à le faire dans le chat, bien entendu. So first of all, who is DNA? So I'm going to present today uh, three members of the DNA's organization. Uh, first of all, Nicole Depatie, the president of DNA. Uh, Joël, Joël Morgesi, uh, director of operations. Jean-Michel Hubert, myself as a sales uh, consultant. And I'm going to introduce Eric Moreau uh, as Akumachika director pre-sales. So DNA is a First of all, Ottawa based with the consultants in Montreal and Moncton. Uh, over three years of presenting, uh, implementing and supporting ERP solutions. Our staff is bilingual in average 15 years in the industry. It's for, uh, for sure specialty help uh, small and medium enterprises move from legacy solutions, no longer suitable. Specialty uh, finding industry specific third party solutions to meet needs. And obviously, Sage and Akumachika authorized the partner reseller with more than 450 clients. Today's agenda. So we're going to talk about, first of all, we're going to review uh, of basic Akumachika UI, means user interfaces feature. We're going to review all uh, our financials module features. Uh, we're going to have the, the pleasure to see Eric uh, uh, do a demonstration of distribution edition features. We're going to talk about order to invoice, inventory basics, purchase requested, and requisition, group lower pricing, order fulfillment and shipping, mobile access to live data. And at the end of the session, we're going to have a small summary in the Q&A session. Eric, yes. I'm gonna just make sure I'm gonna make you the presenter of uh, the, the the webinar. So, it's gonna just take me one second. Okay. Make okay. a presenter. Okay. There we go. Very good. Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. Just a quick picture so you can see what I look like. That I uh, may sound like Brad Pitt, but I don't look like Brad Pitt. Um, but anyway, uh, greetings, everyone. My name is Eric Moreau. I'm the director of pre-sales here at Acumatica. Looking forward to taking you through an overview of the product. A little bit about myself. I've been with Acumatica for uh, just over five years. I'm in the director of pre-sales role. Uh, on my team, I have six other individuals uh, that also present Acumatica uh, to our prospects on behalf of our partners. Uh, my background, however, I've been in technology for about 20 years. So after uh, university, I did four years in public accounting and then four years as uh, a controller before I got into technology where I worked with the Great Plains product. Uh, I was SAP for over uh, nine years, financial force, and then here I am with Acumatica. So um, again, I really like the product and hopefully by the end of today's session, you'll have an idea as to uh, why I'm so excited about the product. And before I move on, Jean-Michel, can you confirm you see my uh, customer view dashboard? Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. So with that, let's go ahead. I'm gonna probably go at a pretty good clip here. We've got some material that we wanna cover, but I uh, also don't wanna lose your attention. Wanna make sure that you're uh, engaged as we go through the product. Uh, we saw a little bit of the agenda there uh, but before we get started. So Acumatic is a cloud-based solution. Uh, you can pretty much use it on any uh, browser that works for your organization. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, you're going to be able to, to use that browser as appropriate. 
uh, it's out of the box functionality. Everything I'm showing you today is out of the box functionality. There are no third party products and there is no customization included in today's presentation. So everything you see, um, you would have access to as well on day one. Now, what I'm going to start with is just an overview of Acumatica. How do you get around Acumatica? Start introducing you to some of the unique terminology uh, to Acumatica. Uh, so that's the user experience demo that we'll start with. That'll take about 10 minutes, and then we're going to get into the financials. Just talk about a few things at a high level that you may find interesting. Uh, then we'll slip, uh, switch over to the distribution side. Uh, spend a few moments there, and then we'll wrap up today talking about the mobile capabilities of Acumatica. Uh, and the mobile, again, is provided at no additional charge. It's an app that you can download onto your mobile device, whether it be Android or Apple, uh, like myself. All right, so with that, we're going to go ahead and when we talk about Acumatica, Acumatica is a role-based system. Currently, I'm at, logged in as admin. Um, and as, ad, as admin, I have access to all of these various workspaces that you see coming down the left-hand side, a couple of these that we'll be into today. So uh, just to show you what a workspace looks like, there's uh, items on the distribution side. And then if I go underneath more items, there's things like fixed assets, multi-currency capabilities, taxes, deferred revenue. Okay, we also have the ability to, to manage projects. So if you have any projects that you're managing, uh, we can help you with that. Um, and again, a good example here would be if you're doing projects internally, you could use Acumatica to compile all the cost that are associated with an internal project if that was necessary. Uh, let's just drill down a little bit more on a workspace. If you look here, open up the payables workspace, you can see I can show all or show less. Now, if I uh, show all, you can see it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, so what we do is we allow you to configure the workspace for your specific needs. Now note that I'm saying configure, that means it's geared towards the end user as opposed to customization, right? So with configuration, you can do this. You would not have to necessarily call your partner. You would be able to configure this page for your specific use. The other thing you'll see here is that we have these four tiles coming across the top. Tiles are things that I'm doing uh, day in and day out. So I want to keep them right at my fingertips. But in this case, you'll see that actually was able to relabel this particular item. Uh, someone's moving off of an old solution. They're a little nervous about switching. So we relabeled this tile specifically. So I added some stars there so that you can see it's going to be um, you know, easier for them to identify. Now, another nice tool within Acumatica is the concept of favorites. So just like we saw that tile underneath payables, I could also use my favorites and build out this page and that user that's nervous about moving to a new solution, we could put everything on their favorites page to make that transition to Acumatica a little bit easier. Now you'll see me using some of these items today during my demo. By the way, each time I click on the Acumatica logo, it's gonna take me back to my homepage. In this case, it's the customer view dashboard. We'll talk more about that in just a few moments. But for now, what I want to talk about is a very powerful tool in Acumatica called Universal Search. Like the name implies, it's going to allow me to search on virtually anything within Acumatica. Now, an example you may want to consider is financial period. You're, you're new to Acumatica. You're not sure where to start. So here, just by typing in financial, I can see that, oh, there's all the menu items that have the words financial built into it. You can actually see it showing up in bold. Or if I need uh, help on my uh, financial periods, I can click on the help topics and there's the various uh, help topics that contain the word financial that's going to allow me to look for the financial periods if I wanted to. Or another example would be if a customer calls up, they have a question, we can just simply type in the first six characters of their phone number and I'm very easily, very easily able to call up that master record right from Universal Search. So again, you'll see me using that throughout today's session. Another uh, last example would be the file. So we talked about menu items, right? So in this case, I'm using the word case. I could see transactions that happen to have the cases, right? We have support cases available, help topics, and then any Word, PDF, JPEG documents, Excel documents that have the word case in them, I can, I can store and then locate through Universal Search as well. The next thing we're looking at here is a dashboard. So let's just talk about that. There's a number of role-based dashboards that are available within Acumatica. In this case, we're looking at the customer view dashboard. And there's all kinds of things uh, that we show here. But the way I want to introduce this topic is think of a dashboard as an artist's canvas. 
And instead of applying paint to that canvas to come up with a beautiful picture, we are identifying uh, a number of queries that's going to allow me to, to get, come up with a picture of the organization. So as corny as that may be, I'm hoping it'll help you uh, understand a little bit how we can use these dashboards. Now, all these little tiles or widgets that you see here, I can actually drill back and see additional pieces of information. So if I wanted to see what are the open opportunities, I can drill back and there's the um, all of the opportunities. Or what are the seven late orders I can drill back? And here's a list of those orders that you can see. Now throughout Acumatica, whenever you see that blue hyperlink, you can drill down to additional pieces of information. So just like on your websites that you're using today to look at your favorite sports team, or to do some shopping, you can drill back and see, in this case, this is the actual sales order. Um, and if I had a question, I could drill, and then if I want to see the customer, I can click on the pencil. So throughout Acumatica, you have the ability to drill back to additional pieces of information. Another nice feature of this customer view dashboard is the ability to narrow down my search. So originally we're looking at um, all my customers, but if I wanted to, I could search only on Alta Ace. Now, what's nice about this is that I'm getting ready to go visit a customer, and because I have this dashboard on my mobile device, I can call up and see a profile, a snapshot of that customer before I walk in the door. So that's very helpful. So let's just go ahead and clear that out, and you'll see it's going to take me back to the macro level. And again, you'll see there's different types. You could do gra bar graph, pie graph if you wanted to. And then just let's take a look here. You can click on design and then this is how you would add a new widget. Now I'm not going to add a new widget, but there's the chart that we saw that either the bar graph or pie graph, the data table that you see here, you can track key performance indicators to show me is margin going up or is margin going down. For those of you that work with pivot tables in Excel, you're now going to be able to do that um, within Acumatica on your dashboards as well. And I'm going to show you a couple other dashboards as we get into it. One of my favorite dashboards is the AP Clerk dashboard. As you can see here, we have a number of things going on, including documents that are on hold or unreleased documents in prior months. Obviously, that's a little concerning because I have uh, transactions that should have been posted last month or in previous months. So I can drill back. Uh, I can review the transaction, remove the hold approve and then release. Now release in Acumatica speak means post to the general ledger, AP or AR, whatever the case may be. And then if I go back onto that AP clerk dashboard, you'll see how the dashboard, see, it went from seven documents down to six documents very quickly. Now we're not gonna get into approvals too much here, but also want you to recognize that you can manage uh, workflow within Acumatica. So if you have approvals for purchase orders or AP invoices, accounts payable invoices, you're gonna be able to manage that as well all right so the other thing that we have within acumatica is the ability to work with filters now in previous systems that i've worked with i always knew the data was there i just didn't have an opportunity you know or i didn't know how to get at the data and so i'd have to go ask somebody hey can you you know write me an inquiry or write me a, a sql script that would allow me to get at this data now in this case what you see here is i have 3400 ap documents at my disposal, but I only want to focus on the open ones. So I'm going to use what's called a quick filter. So I go ahead and click open only, and you're going to see we go from 3,500 records down to 110. But then I only want to focus on those large ones greater than or equal to $50,000. So now I've gone from 3,500 to 100 records down to 26 records. And what's nice about this is I can go ahead and save this. And if I want to share it with others in the organization, I can open AP greater than. 50k now um then again this is a great example of what i can add to my dashboards if i needed this inquiry to appear on my dashboard i can then add this to a dashboard as well now folks whether or not this is appropriate maybe geez why would i need that form over substance but the important thing here the message i want to leave you with is how easy it was for me to get at that data filter on that data save it so that i have access to it later on okay and then the other thing I want to talk about is something called the side panel. Now, in this case, I'm looking at a list of all my sales orders. And if you look over here on the right hand side, there's different items, if you will. So if I wanted to see highlight a particular row and I wanted to see the sales order status, I just simply click that row. And for this customer, I can see open and completed sales orders. Now, what I love about this, if I click on an additional row, it's going to automatically refresh with that particular customer. 
or if I wanted to see the customer detail, I just highlight this side panel item and it's gonna show me the customer master record. Maybe I needed to look at contacts or other things, I'm gonna be able to do that directly from here. So although I mentioned being able to drill back and see additional pieces of information in Acumatica, we don't necessarily need to do that because we're gonna put everything directly at your fingertips. So side panels is a nice powerful tool within Acumatica. And again, that's available throughout as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my uh, customer view dashboard. All right, so again, that was just an introduction to Acumatica. We talked about the workspaces on the left-hand side and how the ability to configure those specific workspaces for my specific needs. We talked about uh, the, the, the very powerful tool called Universal Search that allows you to search on virtually anything within Acumatica. It could be menu items. It could be documents. A customer calls up and say, I have a question on a particular document. If they were to give me my document number, I would see that as well. Uh, phone number, I think, was the example we had used. So Universal Search, very powerful in identifying help, files, transactions, or menu items. And we talked about the ability to filter on data. And the example I use is searching on AP transactions that are open and greater than $50,000. So that functionality is going to be available to you throughout Acumatica. And um, we talked about dashboards, different types of dashboards, and we have a number of role-based dashboards. Let me just go ahead and open up this workspace so you can get an idea of how many different dashboards we have and how they're um, available by different roles now. And again, in this format today, we don't have enough time to click on all of those. But really, idea here, folks, was to get you to become interested in Acumatica so we can come back and do a live demo, do some discovery, find out a little bit more about your organization, and uh, then do a deeper dive. Okay, so with that, let's just talk a little bit about financials. Sometimes understanding the structure within Acumatica is helpful. In this case, we have a, a corporate overview or corporate view where I have three companies, capital revision, products revision, and services. So three companies and four branches. And you're gonna see how that's gonna come into play here when we talk about reporting, but we do have multi-company, multi-currency capabilities as well. And sometimes when you're looking at a financial or trying to understand financials, a nice way to start there is just by looking at the profit and loss. So we're kind of looking at the end result as opposed to the beginning. So if you look here, I have a financial statement and then I can drill back. And if I wanted to, I could see additional pieces of information because I already told you we have those blue hyperlinks that's going to allow you to see additional pieces of information. Now, again, in this format, folks, I don't want to get too into the into the weeds, but for now, I want to leave you that natural GL account number, the general ledger account number can be up to 10 characters. I'm only using five here. And then we also have a sub account and that can be up to 30 characters. I'm using six of them here. So in essence, your GL account structure could be up to 10 characters. So usually we find that's enough um, to accommodate our reporting. And then here you can see that branch. So you can do the branch reporting and again, as a reminder, this is what the branches are here, Services East, Services West, and you can see that built in there. We're going to show you how you can report on that. And again, folks, the ability to drill back and see actual transactions associated with a group if I wanted to. And again, there's that drill back that I can see. So you now can allow you to do all your departmental reporting as well. Actually, I meant to show you one other thing while I'm on that financial statement. If I run that financial statement again, the other thing I can do is if I click on the groups icon, I can now show me a summary of the services company, services East, services West, or in totality uh, for the products company, services company, or consolidated. So very easy to work within our reports as well. And this is a, a report designer that's built into the product. Uh, you do not pay anything extra for that. The other thing I want to talk about, oftentimes we have clients that have a requirement for intercompany transactions. So what I want to show you here is what that might look like within Acumatica. So I'm going to call up AP 4982. In this case, it happens to be um, an electric bill. And if you look, you can see it's actually being allocated out to different departments. So it's uh, May Electric. It's going to post in June. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to show that very easily in our P&L. Um, and I know I don't have any June transactions in there, so I'll go ahead and release that. Now, when I go back and I run that P&L that we saw a few moments ago. Okay. And again, let's go ahead and run that for June. And there's the $1,200 transaction that we saw. 
And again, I can drill back and you can see how it's being broken out five, four and three for a various various departments. Or what I can do here is um, if I want to run this, oops, let me go ahead and run this again. We can do it by groups and I can see Services East that they got four hundred dollars. Services West got three hundred dollars. And then there's the consolidated at twelve hundred dollars or I may want to be able to do a profit and loss by department or um, location. So let me go ahead by branch is the word I was looking for. So again, we're going to run this. And it's really just kind of show you the different types of reports that you have. And again, there is the services West, East, and products wholesale again for the total of $1,200. So just different ways you can slice and dice the data. And let me just show you this last profit and loss statement that um, a lot of our clients really like. Again, there's that 12 month trend. And again, as you know, through those blue hyperlinks, we're gonna be able to see all of that. And again, this is starting in May, so that's why you don't see the June, but very easily kind of run that report for June as well. Now, what I wanna do is just open up the workspace other things that you can do here that oftentimes accountants are all interested in the ability to do allocation. So I want to allocate out certain costs to my clients. I can do that or recurring transactions um, where I have amortization of prepaid expenses, for example, you can manage that within Acumatica. Okay. So again, that was just a quick introduction to the financial aspect and the some of the reports that you may be interested with in Acumatica. The next thing I want to talk about is a little bit around the distribution side of the world. So, uh, so you know, sometimes you may be interested in working with requisition. So if you need to requisition product, you're going to be able to do that. Now, here I have requisition number five. It's for three Acer laptops for my uh, finance team. If I wanted to, I could actually send out this um, requisition to vendors and they can then bid on that. Now, again, in this format today, we don't have all the time to to get into all of that, but you can see here, these are the two vendors that it would be going to. And then as it comes back, we can log their responses here and we can see um, you know, who is the vendor and what information, um, what are they actually quoting us on, et cetera. All right, so you see we have various requisitions um, that are available to us, okay? All right, so then if we go back, and then, by the way, I just want to talk about the activity. So when we did send that request out for bidding, you'll see here that it actually attaches the two emails that were sent to the vendor as well. We're asking them to bid on this particular information. That's why there's two of them, because there's two vendors. All right. The other side of it I want to talk about on the um, that was on the buy side. And then the sell side is the ability to track a sales order through um, throughout the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, a transaction. So here we have Alta Ace. Notice it's a smart search. I can just do a simple lookup. Um, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and add the Acer laptop. And if I wanna add one of them, we'll see that it's $500. But then we do have um, you know very powerful pricing within Acumatica. So group level pricing, we could do it at the customer level, the, the group of customer, the warehouse. Uh, products, different, many different ways in which we can attack that. Um, but I did want to show you if I did buy three or more, how the invoice is going to automatically, in this case, the sales order is going to automatically get updated with the proper price for the volume discount. And also a nice feature that our clients like is the ability to see the on hand available, available for shipping without having to leave this screen. You can see that directly from here as well. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then if I go on the shipping, Again, built into the product is the ability to shop for rates. Now, a lot of times our competitors can't show this functionality, but in Acumatica, this is out of the box functionality. So if I scroll down here, I can actually choose UPS ground, highlight that, but then also look, it tells my shipping department what size box I should be using for this. So I don't have to worry about uh, people using too big of a box, which costs me money, or grabbing too small of a box and forcing something into a box where it really wasn't meant to ride in that smaller box. So now what we do is we create the shipment. The shipment's gonna allow me to create that pick list that I can then show with others as well. So here, if I click the item and print pick list, you'll see what that looks like, including the ability to work with barcodes. So we do have warehouse management. Um, 
And then you can also see what location this is in. So it tells the person in the warehouse to go to R1S1 and to grab this particular laptop. Once I've grabbed it, I brought it down to the packing area. It's been packed up, boxed up, ready to go. I confirm the shipment. And once I confirm the shipment, look, real time, I now have the tracking number, but then I also have the label that's gonna be at my disposal. This is the label that's gonna get affixed to the box for shipment. So all that core functionality, very easy to work with within Acumatica. And again, I just realized I closed out that window, but if I wanted to see the shipment, uh, there's the one that we're working with today. The next thing would be to prepare the invoice. At this point, inventory would get relieved and receivables and revenue would get updated again, as well as cost of goods sold. So here's your actual invoice. Release in Acumatica speak means post to the general ledger, APAR, inventory, projects, production orders. If you need manufacturing, all of that's getting updated real time. And then and based on my background, let's go ahead and take a look at that journal entry. There's receivables that are getting updated, including our freight. And then if I go to the inventory module and call up the last transaction, there's cost of goods sold that's getting updated as well. So everything is done real time within Acumatica. Okay. All right. So the other thing I want to talk about um, is just the, uh, the mobile capabilities uh, that are available within Acumatica. So there's no additional charge for this. And I'm going to have Jean Michel, can you just chime in for just a moment while I set up my display here? Absolutely. Thank you, Eric, for, 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 for noticing. Um, thank you very much uh, for all the attendees. I can, as I can see, we have, uh, we have a couple of questions. And uh, the thing is that I, I just want to add a few, few comments just to, to, to make sure that uh, it's a small technical aspect that, as we can see, we're using Google Chrome over here to, to make the demonstration, but uh, you can only use uh, with uh, Microsoft Edge uh, on any browser. So it's very easy to use. And uh, we we're gonna see that uh, we can use it on the on the mobile uh, mobile aspect, but uh, you can use it on any devices, anywhere, anywhere you want. Okay, very good. So as you can see here, I had to launch my Air server just so I can show my mobile device for you, and that's what we're looking at here. So again, you can download the app at no additional charge. Um, and again, there's the things that we're looking at, right? You recently viewed, that's the invoice that you and I had just created, all right? There's the sales order that we had created, all right? So if you can see, everything is gonna be directly at your fingertips. And then if I wanted to, I can scroll down. There's time and expenses that we'll come back to. You can manage your CRM or customer relationship management from here. Or if you're managing projects out in the field and you're a project manager and you wanted to see a project, you could do so. Um, if I go back down here to my dashboards, I just want to show you, there's the customer view dashboard that you and I were looking at earlier. And this is where I talked about if the customer's going on site, excuse me, your salesperson's going on site, they want to be able to call up the customer view from here. They can do so. There's the Alta Ace that we had talked about. So all that's going to be directly at their fingertips. Or again, another thing that's helpful, if you wanted to track your expenses, I can just simply go in and click expense receipt. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And the receipt that I have, again, it's uh, going to be some warm weather here where I am. So I bought a new air conditioner for the office. But again, what's the problem with expense reports is getting people to put enough information that's going to be helpful. Well, at Acumatica, we can use the same functionality you're used to using today, including talk to text. Today, I bought a new air conditioner because it's going to be very hot. OK, so very corny, but very simple, easy to use. I can go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this into. Well, I guess we'll put it into office supplies. Um, and then the amount would be I'm just going to make it even three hundred dollars done. But then also what I can do here is I can attach a picture of the invoice as well. So there is the invoice. You can get the idea. We're going to go ahead and click OK. All right now we do have the ability to recognize all that as well i can see you can see where i can screen fit the screen here a little bit i'm just showing you that what that looks like all right and then i'm going to go ahead and save this transaction and that quick if i go back into acumatica and go into my uh, expense receipts we will then see the item that i just entered it would then go off for approval uh, and there it is very simple 
Um, if I wanted to apply it to a project, I could, but at the end of the day, there is the receipt. But what's important here, folks, everything is real time. All right. So I didn't have to sync. I didn't have to wait. Um, people in the back office and operations are going to be able to see everything that I enter real time as well. So, okay. So we're just going to wrap up here. Just want to talk a little bit about various things that we showed you. Again, we talked about the uh, user interface, things like universal search, filters, uh, workspaces, the ability to configure that. We talked about financials and we show you all those different financial statements that are available to you out of the box. We also showed you how to use an intercompany transaction that generates that do to and do from um, that you may be looking for as well. Even though I didn't show you that journal entry, um, it does create the journal entry uh, across the different branches as well. Again, remember on that GL account structure, remember it's up to 40 characters, so 10 characters for the natural and 30 characters for the sub account. So that's a pretty robust uh, GL uh, for reporting purposes. And then we got in the distribution side, we talk about the ability to use requisitions. We can send um, requests out to vendors if they want to bid on certain product, or you don't have to use requisitions. If your organization doesn't use requisitions, you can start with the purchase order process uh, and then manage that buy process directly from there. We also do things like landing costs. If that's something that you're using, we can manage that through Acumatica. Uh, we also created a sales order. We showed you the various pieces of information that are available to you, including volume discounts and the available, the on hand, all that stuff is going to be right at your fingertips. We showed you how you can shop for rates. We're able to identify the preferred carrier. Uh, see that, add that to the order. We were able to create the shipment, which allowed me to get my pick list, which then allowed me to go pull the product. I can pack it and then re again, realize real time, we got the tracking number as well as that shipping label is going to be attached directly to the sales order. And again, I can email that information out from Acumatic. I didn't talk about it then, but just recognize if I wanted to at the end of the day at 4 p.m. every day, I want to automatically send emails to my clients with their tracking number. I'm going to be able to do that as well and then we saw the release of that invoice which updates the general ledger inventory is relieved at that point uh, and um again everything is done real time and then that mobile capabilities we wrapped up by showing you the mobile for a few minutes just so you can manage your business directly from your phone because we know nowadays a lot of people are on the road and they're trying to be as efficient as possible while well, using that mobile app that's provided at no additional charge is going to make your day-to-day -day a little bit easier. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Jean-Michel and to see if we have any questions. Yeah, thank you very much, Eric. Thanks. Thank you again. So we have, uh, first of all, we have one question uh, about uh, the deployment methods. What are the deployment methods? Sure. So with Acumatica, you actually have a choice. Uh, although we'd like to think we know your business, you, we don't know your business like you do. And if you want to be in the cloud, um, then um, we offer both a public cloud and private cloud offering. So depending on which would be best for you. Um, but again, the cloud option would give access to anybody anywhere on any device. Um, but then perhaps maybe there's a reason why you want to actually deploy Acumatica uh, in your own environment. So in your own servers, what have you. So you could do that as well again. You're going you're gonna to work with your partner, in this case, DNA, and you're going to discuss what we think or you think, um, all of us think, would be the best deployment method for you. But the important thing that I want to leave you with here, folks, is that you have a choice to deploy Acumatica and the method that you think is best for your organization. Excellent. We have another one. Um, can you create a user-defined fields? Yeah, oh, great. it's a great question. Um, what I like about that is, first of all, is I like it because I can answer yes. But again, I'm a non-technical user, and the fact that I can actually add user-defined fields to Acumatica is, is a huge feather in our cap. Again, it just goes to the, the ease of use of Acumatica. And um, again, so yes, you can add user-defined fields. It's going to accommodate your reporting. Uh, as well as your tracking of information as it relates to, again, things that may be specific or unique to your organization that Acumatica didn't take into account. Uh, it's not a concern because we'll just simply add a field that's going to allow you to capture that information and then in turn allow you to report off of that field as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, I think we are we are we are okay with the with the questions. Um, for all the attendees, you're gonna receive a link just to 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 review the the webinar. 
and uh, we're gonna publish it on our social networks um thank you very much eric thank you again for your time sure. uh, My pleasure. Uh, thank you everybody and uh i think we can uh, we can close this webinar thank you thanks uh, thanks again if you have any question it will be a pleasure to uh to answer to answer your questions thank you have a good day